Okay, today I'm going to talk to you about the Kimber Ultra Carry 2. Um, just primarily initial impressions. I want to show clear, talk you through it really quickly. All right, so the Kimber Ultra Carry 2, um, those of you that are familiar with my channel or specifically my writing over at the Arms Guide or back in the day, um, some other places um, know that when it comes to 1911s I'm a full size 1911 person uh, commander size is about the uh, shortest length that I tend to gravitate towards but this came across my path and I decided I would go ahead and give it its fair hearing um, my dad in fact carries uh, the refined carry pistol version of a gun very similar to this by Kimber and uh, he seems to like it and I value my dad's opinion so I thought hey, you know what I'll give this a run for its money. Quick impressions. After its uh, break-in period it seems to function pretty reliably. The coating that Kimber applies to the gun seems to be wearing relatively well. Uh, this gun has seen its fair share of use and here's what here's what what I'll say um, for me a small 1911 is not an ideal carry gun your mileage may vary your opinion may differ fine no problem whatsoever but for me uh, this is more of a range toy that is intended it's designed for concealed carry uh, I think there are some variables that make uh, 1911s in this size uh, less than um, desirable for concealed carry but again your opinion opinion may differ let me let me uh, direct you to one that is often referred to and if you're trying to test the potential reliable reliability of this weapon and you're willing to uh, exercise enough humility to uh, insert yourself as one of the potential failure points I think you'll find that the that this gun requires more precise operation to function reliably and accurately than some other guns now that being said my experience is it's a very accurate inherently very accurate weapon for its size even with the short sight radius that being said again um, if you do your job my experience has been that it's pretty reliable um, you know especially for a short 1911 uh, which is surprising because I've had kind of my love-hate uh, back and forth relationship with Kimbers in the past though my dogs named Kimber uh, this is anyway my experience has been good with this gun I think it's a good gun it's just not the tool that I would choose for concealed carry so that's my quick in and out impressions of this gun um, again your opinion may vary uh, it's a good gun. Let's go ahead and check the weight on this. So we're looking at one ounce, 0 1.50 ounces unloaded. We'll go ahead and insert the magazine and see how much difference that makes. 1.65 unloaded. Um, as with most 1911s, uh, you're going to have your single side. A safety on this gun and then point in a safe direction we're gonna check the trigger of this gun and it's got a very nice clean single stack a uh, single stack single stage trigger of course this gun is single stack standard also a lot of people have trouble with uh, magazines again let me reiterate that though I, my favorite uh, 1911 magazines are Wilson Combats, uh, the Kimber magazines have, uh, the Kimber magazine, I should say, it only comes with one magazine, functions admirably. It functions just fine. Uh, that's been my experience with this gun. Again, really nice, clean trigger. Uh, the grips on these are just rubberized grips. These are I believe aftermarket this particular gun came with uh, laser grips on it. Laser grips aren't my deal. This happens to have some screws from VZ grips on it uh, just to add a little something something. 
uh, but really pretty plain Jane gun. Um, and the sights are metal and adequate. They're good. Uh, they don't have a, a, a cocking ramp, but you're able to uh, use this gun in any of the ways that you would need to. So anyway, my take on this particular 1911 is that if you are looking for a small, what Kimber calls ultra size, carry gun in 1911 configuration then this may be one that you would look at. I would also look at the uh, Kimber RCP, I would look at the Colt New Agent, I would look at several other uh, offerings from Springfield and Colt and uh, this may be one that you would pick up, maybe not. These are becoming much more cost effective than they used to be so that might be a reason to uh, check them out but again that's assuming you're looking for a small smaller than commander size 1911 I personally don't fall in that category but hey I'm reviewing guns and this one came across my path and so I'm gonna review it and I've done my due diligence and shot it uh, plenty to have a, a opinion on it I haven't done enough to do a full review of it uh, but I've shot it enough to have a good, solid opinion. So you guys have a great day. This is the Kimber Ultra Carry 2, and my opinion is relatively favorable, uh, though overall I wouldn't select this category of gun for its intended purpose. You guys have a great one.